So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're talking about Call of Duty World War II Zombies and the hilt. Adding the Robin hers, it's like a sorcerer's stone resurrects life. That's how we save Klaus. So if you go on to learn anything today, drop a like on the video and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Now the latest on Sledgehammer talking about headquarters is stated that we're working on having it back to its full social capacity. You might start seeing other people in your headquarters. Until then, you can invite your friends to your headquarters. Thank you for your patience. So know that they're working on it. The last progress we made on the Easter egg, we got fireworks where the hilt didn't have the Robin Hurts in it. However, now we absolutely have the Robin Hurts in the center there. It actually does an animation where it resurrects Klaus Fischer, who was just laying there dead on the deck. If you missed it, go back and look. But now he's alive, and that's due in part by the Robin Hurts. It's a new artifact that we've placed inside of the actual hilt. Now, a clear distinction that we must make is that when you wield the D-pad, you can pull out a sword. And that sword is actually called the Red Talon. That was something along the quest that we built. But that sword is not the actual hilt. The hilt is an artifact that we collected. But if you've done the hardcore version of the Easter egg, which you've seen that I beat here, it places the Reuben hers inside of that artifact, which I believe is leading towards the super Easter egg. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Huge shout out to Greg FPS who helped carry me through this Easter egg in partner with Skizzle Axe and Jay Skeleton. But Greg FPS, he's got a full Easter egg guide on how to accomplish this. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll have his full Easter egg guide linked in the description box below. And this will help you get Dark Reunion, which we're achieving here today. But what I can't wrap my head around is the outcome of what happens to Klaus Fischer. I mean, we just brought him back to life. Why would he betray his sister, Marie Fischer, and the events that you're about to see, which I will let play out. But I have a little confusion in my head as to the direction that we're going because you left Marie in such a state where she's, you know, here to save her brother, and then that's been ripped from her, and now she's dealing with the situation of survival against this mad scientist and these zombies. Now we have a whole different situation where she is now somewhat of a hero. The main gap in the storyline that explains this is hidden within the recordings themselves that you collect in the map of the Final Reich. And Klaus Fischer says he's leaving crumb trails for Marie Fischer to help defeat Dr. Straub. Now this is what we need to be looking at because this is the new situation that we're in with the outcome of what just happened. I'm gonna let you listen now to the gameplay. Other voices in the darkness, I must go to them. So the last thing we hear Klaus Fischer say is, the Emperor must not return. Clearly he's deranged, he's got something wrong with him, whether there's control or something happening. It would appear that some sort of red pulse was going around him like he was being controlled or possessed. I had begun to lose hope in our ability to find artifacts of significance. But then, divine providence, the discovery of a lifetime, the hill to the legendary sword of the Holy Roman Emperor, Frederick Barbarossa, the embodiment of German nobility, German power. The Ahnenerbe was sent to reclaim the sword piece for Hitler's personal collection, and they could not move it, not with chains, not with tractors, nothing. When the mountain will not come to... I brought everything to the mountain. My tools, my staff, the foremost weapons expert in the Wehrmacht, Gruppenführer Heinz Richter. Little did we know that we were about to uncover something that would change our understanding of the world. Oh. 
I have been betrayed. Klaus has been sabotaging my work all along. He will pay. And that bastard Richter, the man sent to assist my work, to protect my facility, he has been seduced by the power of the weapon we can build with the Geistcraft energy. The Antoten have broken free. Four, no, five times now. We are so close to mastery here. So close to building an army. And what happened when their tanks come into view? Their mighty war machines. I am building more than just rank and file soldiers. I am building something that will tear through the mightiest steel and knock their fortresses into dust. I have created the devil himself. <laughs> So this is the moment where Dr. Straub is just upset, he's irate that Klaus Fischer is sabotaging his entire experiment for the German army. He believes Klaus is being seduced by the weaponry he can build with the Geist craft, but definitely leads us to the clues that we have yet to discover. Now something in the after action report I noticed is I earned a zombie supply drop. Many of you guys have probably experienced this, but once you exactly leave the lobby, you go to your available supply drops and it's not there, it's like you didn't earn it at all. And this is due in part because I did prestige. This is the prestige glitch that everyone talks about. We're not being awarded our zombie supply drops even though we earned them in game. And it shows in the after action report, simply not there. Now part of the storyline I do question is the sword that we get. And it's called the Red Talon. I don't know much history about the Red Talon, but I think it might have something to do with one of the Raven Lords, maybe Blood Raven, but I'm not sure if that's exactly what's going on here. Because the more kills that you get with this weapon, it will start pulsating red all around, and it makes me think that it deals with one of the Raven Lords. Which we know there are four of them, and the mods that we apply to our super are based off of that. The Rabin Hers is another artifact that we place in conjunction with the actual hilt and combining those together gives us the ability of resurrection. So with us collecting this hilt, which is the legendary part of the Sword of Barbarossa, it's no wonder that Dr. Straub sought after this artifact with great power and destruction because he knew that it was going to be the answer. And that answer holds great power because it's an ancient godlike figure, this Barbarossa figure that we know of is someone that we might be resurrecting by bringing the sword back and that's why the message from Klaus was so direct that we should not let him return. Based on the result of the super easter egg we had in Infinite Warfare Zombies, it all led up to Mephistopheles, which was above even Willard Weiler, so it might be something greater than Dr. Straub that we're facing and that might be Barbarossa, who is the Emperor of Germany and you know the leader of this Fourth Reich. But with the game of Call of Duty World War II being out two weeks, it would appear that only 3-4% to of players have actually beaten Dark Reunion. This is still a very sought after easter egg and a lot of people are having trouble partying up and taking this on with the right players and that's exactly what you're going to need if you want to beat the Panzer Mordor and the hardcore version of the easter egg. We were awarded the helmet that you're seeing right now on my character for beating the Panzer Mordor for the first time in the casual easter egg and then you go accept that in your mail. But I do gotta say it feels good to have this easter egg out of the way and now we can focus more on the lore but to give people some hope out there who can't find groups that are actually able to beat this there's gonna be a looking for group mechanic once headquarters becomes fully functional with 48 players. This notifies the entire HQ lobby looking for a zombies group and things should become a lot more easier once that's possible. So that's definitely something you can look forward to. If you want to stay up to date, be sure to activate the bell icon on my channel. It'll notify you of everything that I push out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.